Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here. One of the best books on Christian history I have ever read. Uh, Brother Bernard, he writes in such a way, to me it's so easy. I, I talk to people and they say, oh, I can't stand to read Brother Bernard's writings. Uh, they're so hard. I'm like, no, to me, he writes as a lawyer where he's trying to make his case. And... Uh, it's just, it's very easy to read, but the wealth of information that he brings is just fantastic. So you start out with uh, Oneness and Trinity, 100 to 300 AD, and then the Trinitarian Controversy of the 4th century, and then you have this is like a three volume set from 100 to 1500, then you have from 1500 to 1900, then volume three is uh, on forward. But just a great book, very well done as well. And you can get this on computer. But there was some stuff in the back here that I really appreciated him doing as well. Not just the, well, this is good. We'll just show you this little timeline of church history of when they allowed veneration of icons and, you know, when the Pope was called the Pope and different things. That's always a good thing. And when we say church history, I'm using that term loosely. Uh, you know, people that are denominationally called Christians, sincere people and all this, but not in an absolute sense, not in an apostolic sense, a book of Acts sense. Nothing along those lines. So that's really good, but that's not what I was looking for. Um, so like he goes into, okay, on holiness. These are different groups that taught against astrology, worldly sports and amusements, gambling and dancing. Look at that. Now that's handy to have. You know, these are not 20th and 21st century legalistic holiness standards. This was things that were done, um, you know, all throughout even uh, maybe the dual track of maybe not so much Christian history, but falsely so-called Christian history. We'd say that worldly theater, movies, wearing clothes of opposite sex, short hair on women, long hair on men, alcohol, tobacco, abortion, warfare, personal ornaments, all these different groups. So that, see, this is just a wonderful one-stop thing. So people ask you, why do you believe that way? Well, man, get this book. This book is not just for pastors. It's for everybody. And Brother Bernard has probably, in a sense, done as much for God as anybody in the world in the last 50 years. Just unbelievable. Holiness teaching throughout history, speaking in tongues throughout history, you know, Sibelians, Tertullian, Novatians, baptism in Jesus' name throughout history, uh, Plymouth Brethren, John Miller, uh, all these uh, people, people known to Martin Luther. He doesn't even have Zingli in here, you know. Um, Sibelians, endorsement by Ambrose, endorsement by Beatty, the venerable Beatty. And then he's got like the, like the ancient creeds, which is fantastic. And then oneness believers in history. Now, I thought you might find this interesting, oneness believers in history. Not only William Penn and Isaac Watts, who have done things on that, but he's also got Isaac Newton listed in here. So, okay, you've got the smartest man who ever lived, many people's eyes, Newtonian physics and all of this. Uh, Optica gave us modern calculus. He, and he's supposed to be a oneness believer. Now, I knew he was Aryan. I didn't know he was oneness. I, I want to do more research. I've got a lot of Newton's books. I love reading Newton. And uh, I knew, again, he was really staunchly anti-Trinitarian. And I knew about William Penn and John Fox, for that matter. So this, I mean, this is just great stuff right here. And uh, I encourage everybody, you may hate oneness people. You may think we're just the most evil people in the world, cultists, idiots, and everything. Well, get the book. Prove us wrong. <laughs> Read it. So I love you. God bless. Talk with you later in Jesus' name.